I've introduced a bill in the Senate called the Higher Education Reform Act. The purpose of this bill is to make it easier and more affordable for more Americans to get a good quality higher education. We find that the cost of higher education in the form of tuition has gone up for decades. It's gone up in part because there's this sort of iron triangle, almost a cartel if you will, that consists of the U.S. Department of Education, the accrediting bodies that it chooses to recognize, and then the providers of the higher education learning experience, basically colleges and universities. Because there's limited competition in the field of higher education, they can continue to escalate the cost of tuition and people continue to pay it. One of the ways that we can bring these prices under control is by increasing the number of providers in this field. We can do that by creating an alternative path to accreditation. Currently, the only way that you can participate in federal financial aid programs for higher education is to be recognized by an accrediting body that's itself recognized by the U.S. Department of Education. We think there ought to be another way, there ought to be another path. And so the Higher Education Reform Act would allow the states to create their own alternative accreditation system so that they too can accredit institutions of higher learning, some of which could include new innovative sources of higher education like massive open online courses or MOOCs as they're sometimes referred to, certain vocational programs and technical programs that currently are not allowed to operate within the federal higher education subsidization system. We think that this would increase the number of providers and with increased competition would come increased price control. In other words, tuition would go down. Your tax dollars would go further. Your tuition dollars would mean more. This is one of the things that we're doing in order to facilitate upward economic mobility in America, and particularly for Utahns. This would be a good thing. And Representative Love, why don't you give us your well, input? The student right to know before you go act is a great companion to, to that bill. Um, education is something that has been very important to me, and I, uh, along with everyone in the state of Utah, has realized that the rising cost of education has made it very difficult for the poorest among us and even the middle class to go to school. If the cost of education continues to rise far faster than the rate of inflation, then um, only those who are chosen or the richest among us can, can go to school. So what I've done is I've introduced with representatives Representative uh, Duncan a uh, right to know before you go, which gives students information before they choose a higher education, before they choose a college, or even start uh, competing uh, or comparing technical career colleges. Uh, by that, it would what it would do is it would have the Department of Education disclose the information that they have, disclose information that they've taken, um, and give it back to us, and um, make sure that we, as Americans, can look at the the information and make a good decision as to where we can go or where our students can go to school. For instance, information like uh, the price of education for that. Can, particular institution, how many people have dropped out, how long it's taken them to get through um, that, that course study. Also, um, the ability to see how many people have actually been able to get work. The overall, um, the overall theme of this is to make sure that we allow people to choose which facilities they go to and bring the cost of education down by providing some competitiveness so that we could uh, make sure that this unlimited flow of federal dollars is not driving the cost of education, that people are driving the cost of education and it's more market-based than it is controlled by the federal government and how much money they can funnel into higher education. So again, it's in keeping the promises that I made to Utah and the 4th District in terms of putting the decision making back into their hands, making sure they're the drivers of, and the authors of their own life and they can bring down the cost of education through competition.